again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 19th of January, 2019. Monday is Martin Luther King Day. I went ahead and I did a little bit of Googling. Found a couple of interesting links. I'm going to attach three of them, but there's all kinds more that you can sort of look through. James Earl Ray was convicted of assassinating Martin Luther King on April 4th, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee. I've attached a Wikipedia bio on James Earl Ray. He was the ideal patsy, which is what I believe he was. You want to take a look at the other two links as well. I didn't know this, but Martin Luther King was going to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. You know who couldn't stand Martin Luther King? Hmm? J. Edgar Hoover. The FBI deemed Martin Luther King to be the most dangerous and effective Negro leader in the country. On August 1963, Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Shortly after that, the FBI deemed him to be the most dangerous and effective Negro leader in the country. Based on what many of us now know about the McCallum memo, about many of the other events, that we now know didn't happen the way we were told they happened, like the Gulf of Tonkin incident, like the takedown of the Twin Towers, like the shooting that took place in Las Vegas. Folks, do you honestly believe that James O. Ray assassinated Martin Luther King? Or do you believe it was similar to what happened to JFK, a CIA FBI operation? Go do your own research. Read the articles. You can't help but come to the same conclusion. When J. Edgar Hoover learned that Martin Luther King was going to receive the Nobel Prize, I think he became disjointed. He was pushed over the brink. He was the most powerful man in America for many, many years, where he ran the FBI. I think that James Earl Ray was another one of those graduates from L MK Ultra. He actually confessed and then he recanted his confession three days later. Did him no good. He died of hepatitis C while in prison. You can't make this stuff up, folks. He's no different than Timothy McVeigh. Another operation done by the CIA, the FBI, our government. The Murray buildings were taken down for the reasons that I've given. How do you have bombs being brought into a federal building when you can't bring a pocket knife in? Hmm? Unfortunately for them, two of those bombs didn't detonate. You'd think that would have been enough to cause a whole lot of concern, but it wasn't. Because the powers that control everything, control everything. And I really do believe that I'm signing my own death warrant with all these videos that I'm making. But one of my uncles was a partisan. He fought with the partisans during the Second World War. Maybe I've got some of uh, him and me. It was my mother's brother. He fought 
against the Nazis. I'm fighting against our evil government. He didn't die during the war. But like I said, I believe that I'm signing my death warrant with these kind of videos. I hope I'm wrong. Watch the clips and you let me know what you think. Yeah, sure as hell know what I think, don't you?